Greetings and welcome to a new presentation from Man Cave Meals called Thirsty Thursday. I'd like to introduce this series. It's going to be a series of beer reviews that uh, we publish every Thursday. One of the things that's made me decide to do this is I noticed that a lot of my uh, barbecue friends online and on YouTube and other places are also uh, into beer. Uh, every, there's quite a few people that like to make their own and quite a few people that just simply like to drink it. One of the things I see all too frequently is people uh, spending a lot of money on good quality barbecue, good quality food, and then they're drinking uh, yellow fizzy grocery store beer to go along with it. This uh, video series I hope to uh, introduce you to some new beers, uh, some quality beers, and give you an opportunity to expand your horizons on the beer front as well as barbecue. So today our first installment of Thirsty Thursday we're going to have a look at a beer called La Fin du Monde from Unibrew Brewery in Quebec. This is a uh, big Belgian triple. It's really good. So let's pour this into the glass and have a look. This particular bottle is a big 22 ounce bottle with a twist off cage cap and a cork top so we're going to pop that guy right off and uh, pop the cork. Okay we're going to pour this guy into our glass this uh, beer has got a nice good amount of carbonation it's a very light colored crisp beer as are all the Belgian triples so we're gonna have a taste first of all get a little bit of the aroma this beer one of the uh, defining characteristics of Belgians are the uh, yeasts and the fermentation process that make this beer happen it's a very light colored beer but this particular beer is very high in alcohol. It rings in at about 9%. So it's definitely not something you would want to uh, drink all day or drink a whole lot of. But it's bottle conditioned and it's uh, very yeasty, very low on hops. It does not have a lot of hop bitterness or a whole lot of hop aroma. Like I said, the characteristic flavor and aroma from this beer comes primarily from the yeast. So let's have a taste. Okay, this is a very, very crisp, crisp and refreshing beer actually. And even at 9%, you can't taste the alcohol content. It doesn't have an alcohol sting like uh, wines or liquors do sometimes. It's a very, very pleasant tasting beer. A good summertime refreshing beer uh, definitely for the hot weather I would highly recommend giving this guy a shot it's a uh, one of the four big beers that are made by Unibrew and uh, if you'll check the description to this video I'll give you a link to their website they have uh, quite a few brews I have actually tried all of them in the past and this is one of the big beers. They make four big beers that are all high in alcohol. And La Fin du Monde, which translates to uh, the end of the world, is just one of those four. And we'll hit the others as we go. But uh, let's have another taste. Mm. This is really good. It's a really delicious beer. So uh, give this one a try, you know. I don't know how easy it is to find this beer everywhere you go. I picked this up as a single bottle at the world market, but a lot of specialty beer stores are going to have the Unibrew. So shop around, see what you come up with, and uh, definitely give this one a try. And like I said, the Belgian triples are, are strong beers, so uh, drink responsibly.